Portugal will open its World Cup campaign against Ghana on 24th November at the stadium 974 in Doha. You know, Ronaldo will be the center of attention in this game. Following his recent interview with Piers Morgan, you know, the five-time Ballon d'Or winner who will also be looking forward to a good World Cup in order to land a new deal in January away from Man. Manchester United. You know, a win start is essential because uh, Fernando Santos' team has a, a short amount of potential. Actually, um, potential in uh, Portugal, no easy. No, more you can put your more players rough. No, they may arrange themselves like this. Okay, so I'll be telling you about the lineup of the Portuguese national team against Black Stars of Ghana. No, earlier on, I posted a video and I spoke about some Charlie tactics be able to me of course in the Ghana's team uh, according to my friends and the sources i have in the black stars camp in Qatar. so I tell you. so don't forget that you search for that video and uh, you watch that you know we compared that one to this portuguese uh, possible lineup now Charlie Eba Alto. So let's start from the goalkeepers, you know. But before we start this building news TV, guys, hey, don't forget uh, you subscribe to the channel, you hit the notification bell, you share the video to your friends, you like, and also you comment. Okay, so we start from the goalkeepers. Uh, goalkeeper, no, Obi, that's a Diego Costa. You know, between the sticks, the goalkeeper is being changed. So that the Diego Costa has been outstanding for Porto this year and has a chance to unseat Ray uh, Rui Patricio as the top goalkeeper for uh, that's uh, Portugal. Rui Patricio has been their best goalkeeper, but this year, Diego Costa in the UEFA Champions League, he has seen three penalties continuously and he has kept uh, two clean sheets in the UEFA Champions League while the Rui Patricio is playing in the uh, Europa League and he said that he is not going to be able to do that. So the right back will be Cancelo, a strong performance uh, can even be a necessary land, a high profile uh, no transfer. No, Cancelo hasn't, uh, hasn't enjoyed much of the game uh, this season for Man City. Okay, so he's he's hoping to have very uh, good tournament so that he can have uh, some good contract after this uh, season or this uh, FIFA World Cup. So, what so the right back will be uh, uh, Cancelo. Then the centre back will be his teammate that is uh, Ruben Diaz, along with Diaz, Man City teammate and frequent captain hasn't been quite as significant at the club level this very season as Cancelo. However, he is uh, incredibly crucial to his country's team and is ready, already, and ready to uh, recognize as a leader. Okay, so that will be uh, Ruben Dia center back. Another center back will be Pepe. We know Pepe, you know, but, you know without without this man it's, it is not a significant competition no people is still uh, proving to be uh, ageless and he will undoubtedly leave his mark on the world cup at some point in future with memorable you no know, and terrifying defending performance so that is it Pepe will also start, okay. Then the left back will be uh, Nino Mendes of the uh, PSG. But uh, Mendes has an excel, you know, he has excelled at the PSG this very season, you know, complementing Cancelo nicely by providing Portugal with balance and an offensive surge down the left flank. So, uh, uh, Charlie, that boy is very good. He has been playing for um, Paris Saint Germain from last season. Very fantastic uh, left back. Okay, so, so yeah, the central midfield or the central midfield will be Ruby Navas. You know, Ruby Navas sent a warning to the Blasters of Ghana. Charlie, they are very focused and they are ready. Even Cristiano Ronaldo is fully fit for the game. So, uh, so let's see. Uh, uh, you no, know, Ruby Navas will sit at the base of the Portuguese defense and provide a crucial role. You no know, pinning ball passing towards the 37-year-old uh, up front. Navas is another player who may be used, uh, maybe using the tournament as a way to secure a transfer from Wolves. I'm not super sure if you will. So he will use the World Cup as a telescope good, not the, or the film. So another center midfielder or central midfielder will pair will be Navas, will be William Cavajo, that's my mind. You know, when Navas and playing the deep position, Cavajo, who would make his third World Cup appearance for his country, fails in. Okay, in a World Cup uh, qualifying match, he scored his 
first ever international uh, goal. So that is it. Then, you know, they will play that stuff normal, but they also like, uh, they play like 4 4 2. So they will have four back, four midfielders, because they will still have uh, there's a cent another central midfielder, that's Bruno Fernandez, Manchester United Talisman. It, uh, uh, it might be said that they have some. That he's having some a difficult start this very season. Most when he play as a deep midfielder, you know, Charlie or fall. But hey, Bruno is doing very very well when he play like up front, joining like Ronaldo and other people up there. Okay, so and then now uh, so they also have the right uh, wing, right winger will be Andre Silva. You know, in advance of the twenty uh, eighteen World Cup, Silva. Uh, scored his hundred goal in an international team. What in the international team he scored his hundred uh, goal. Although he has uh, trouble scoring this very year, this year the for the San Santos, who would like to use uh, his big guns, might have room for him as a narrow right winger. Okay, then they have the up front there. They will have Cristiano, the thirty-seven year old Ronaldo, will join to thirty-seven years. So Ronaldo will also be. Uh, up front, they are, you know, the, the truth is that Portugal uh, should only neutralize Ronaldo than Springley, you know, probably from the bench and place their faith in the young uh, players like uh, Joan Felix and other sorts. But uh, they would like to play Ronaldo instead of Joan Felix, but they, <laughs> but that's not going to happen, you know, prepare for some. Uh, agonizing Ronaldo ball in. So that is uh, Ronaldo. Then, uh, the left wing, the left wing will also be, uh, there's a uh, Rafael Leo, you know, so that is how it's going to be, you know, <laughs> please Ronaldo do not interfere uh, with Leo in any manner, you know. Uh, Rafael Leo, the only one Ronaldo, yes, a pass, but Rafael Leo, Rafael Leo, Wow, so, so uh, the Portuguese, who, who, they will be having a uh, Deo Costa in the post. Right back will be Ruan Cancelo. Then center backs will be Rubin Diaz, Pepe. Then uh, also they will have left back will be uh, Nino Mendes. Center, central midfielders will be uh, Ruben Neves, William Cavajo. They have Bruno Fernandes also. Uh, there the right wing will be Andre Silva. Then Cristian Ronaldo. Will be up there then with uh, Rafael Leo being the right, the left winger, rather not the right, the left winger. So, this other particular national team is set to line up to face the Blasters of Ghana coming up on Thursday, 4 p.m. Ghana time as Ghana play against them. It's very tough, it's very difficult, and it's very serious and KG football that we are going to witness. So, let's see how. Things goes. Let's see how everybody will line up to face each other. This is the news. The names remain. Kofi Atinka, Atinka. Let's meet another one. Bye bye for now.